Hi everyone, welcome to uh, Mickey here, and welcome to the uh, last bit of uh, Cerulean Cave. And today we're doing it in Pokemon Yellow. And uh, this time it's actually going to be genuinely different, so uh, I've got to hopefully remember the whole. Uh, oh, I don't know what I've got to remember. I've got the map right here. <laughs> so I don't need to remember anything. Um, but yeah, this, this is the first time. Hopefully, as well, I can do this one in one trip as well. Uh, and hopefully, it's all good to the point of like, it doesn't like diverge too much to the point of you know, confusion, if you will. I'm just trying to take the best, like the shortest way, if you will, to each item as well. Uh, that way, if you want to collect the items as well, then, uh, uh, you know, here you go. And if you don't want to collect the items, it shouldn't be too much of a diversion for you to, you know, to get back to where you need to be all... It's not too much of a wait anyway, I should say. Uh, so, you know, obviously we'll see on that, but, you know... Oh, of course, it's a crit. I, I, I thought that was going to happen, but I didn't realise it was going to be a crit. Because it's a quad weakness and it's a stab. So yeah, that's the ladder we just came through. Um, if you're trying to, if you're not going for the items, I mean. Weeping Bell. Okay, so Ma at least in yellow, then we know that Max Repel does not block the same leveled Pokemon. And uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not just gonna stick with you. I'm gonna pick. Um, not pick anyone, but I mean. Okay, so we want to go up here. Yeah, I'm, I might catch some Pokemon here as well. I don't, I'm not sure, but you know, I mean, it, it really depends on like what we find and whatnot. Because obviously that ride on, you know, faded really quickly. Uh, Bellossom, not Bellossom. Uh, what's it called? Weeping Bell. Weeping Bell and Gloom are both grass poison types. So Toxic and Leech Seed, as far as I'm aware, can't be used on them whatsoever. And Raising Leaf. Oh yeah, of course I'm boosting them up. And Raising Leaf is a uh, going to be it's a uh, quad resistant. So look at how red the Gloom is as well. It's so weird to see them just all red. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, not very. Uh, I, mean, I guess I could use Raikou, but you know it's a uh, neither here nor there. I guess. All right, so I'm gonna go down here because this is uh, it's quicker. To, yeah, it, it's quicker to just go down here to collect the item because it's just the one item, and you go the other way, if you will. So you know, there's a lot of items here. A lot of Two, that's two PP ups already. Which is, uh, nice. This ladder goes up. Uh, okay, that's. It is just a little weird that you go. Is this. Does this lead anywhere? It does. Okay. Okay, so right here for the item, and then I'm gonna go all the way back for the uh, uh, for the pathway. That's another thing I was thinking earlier as well. Like, um, uh, like, I, like I said before, missing no was not very good with me to, on this file at the moment with yellow. Because, like I said, as far as I'm aware, they need to warm up to you. But I'm wondering because I know I've done. Uh, I've never done 4-4-HY before on a, this, on a, on a yellow because I remember doing some like glitches and whatever with them and because uh, they evolved into my favourite missing though and I've got to try and see if I can utilise that like I wonder if uh, if I can go straight for 4-4-HY and just start using them because I'm pretty sure like any missing no that you encounter will clone your items for you so yeah, that's uh. 
We just went up. Why? Okay, here we are. Uh, I can't tell from this angle. Not from this angle, but it looks like. I don't know. I'll, I'll show it when we get there. But I'm gonna take it safe, if you will. By safe, I mean not safe at all. <laughs> Alright, here's ride on. I might as well try and catch you. Didn't affect, so that's fine. It's not, but it's fine. Actually, yeah, badly poisoned. I might as well show this off. I'm not doing it for this, I'm just trying trying to speed up weakening them. But this is a pretty cool little uh, glitch, if you will. I don't know if you'll call it a glitch or an exploit, to be honest. But this is something that's kind of cool. Uh, toxic or badly poison and leech seed both actually stack. So even though leech seeds take 116th, 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 116th every turn, and toxic should take 116th, 216th, 316th, 416th every turn, um, because it's weird and the, and the flags are weird, uh, Leech Seed actually goes up in damage as well. So as you saw, I took even more health, and it does even take more health. Like, if I were to let them faint here, they'd faint due to the Toxic, but then, they'd still get Leech Seeded. Therefore, you know, and, and I'd still receive health back for that, so it's really weird. <laughs> But it's really cool, and yeah, that that ride on should also have uh, uh, regular poison now. And okay, so yeah, both pathways are fine. I don't know which one's faster then, but I guess the other pathway is faster, maybe. I don't know. I'm only saying that because like I'm thinking like max repel, trying to you know save your max repel or whatever. <laughs> this this is the same in both, pretty much the same in both games. This how section is. Alright, finally we're down to the lower floor. Which I think this is actually pretty linear, actually this floor is. Well, I mean it's linear in the sense that there's only one ladder to it. But you know, but, well, I say also this Disso. Oh, come on, man. I was hoping to get Toxic on her. <laughs> oh, well. Maybe next time. Uh, but, yeah, I say it's pretty linear in the sense that... Okay, yeah, it's, it, it looks weird, because like, I was thinking, like, wait, how are we supposed to go down then? How are we supposed to go to that side without any other ways down? But then, it's just that one of the items, like, because all the items are labelled, it just it overlaps with some of the textures, and uh, one of the items that we're about to get, uh, the next one actually, the text of that covers up some of the, some of the walkable tiles. So, it looked like that, was completely. Uh, well, I'll, well I'll, I'll tell you. I'll show you what I mean. Did you really run out of repel because I turned left? Now I gotta set another one up. 54! <laughs> I mean, I gotta get out of here as well, anyway, so. So this item here, the text that they've used uh, on this map uh, does overlap with this tile right here that I'm looking at right now. So it looked like this was a complete wall, if you will. Whereas the Max Elixir that was in the open that we just got, that looked like it might have been the way to go. So, you know, that's uh, I guess something. You know, to I guess criticize, if you will, about the maps. 
But, like, I mean, the fact that they've got, like, if that's the worst they've done, it's just accidentally put text on it with bits that, you know, maybe they should have thought about, if you will. If that's the worst they've done, they've done a pretty, pretty damn good job, you know, so I can't really complain, you know. It's, uh, it's one of those things where you can't complain, you just, you just could be better, a little better, if you will. If that makes sense, you know what I mean, you know. So that, that's kind of pretty much how good it is, if you will. It's that you can barely complain about it. And yeah, have you seen a poison type poisoned before? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to let them uh, lose a bit of health and see if I can catch the death zone. I could probably save some of these double teams for me too, but at the same time. You only really need six at most. Because he, cause he's not going to lower you, like you see, and. You know. Come on, man. I'm trying to save you from the toxic man. <laughs> okay, I've got one more shot at this. Nope, I oh will. <laughs> setting up to not be hit but then the poison so it's fine <laughs> didn't even attack me so that's a bit I mean it's I mean it's razor leaf it's not going to do much anyway it's really all they can do oh, hey we at least we got one of our ultra balls back and hey that's the last item as well I can't really do much against gold, but I would to be fair. Because again, double resistance against Razor Leaf, but at least we can leech seed. Please don't tell me that gets rid of leech seed. Does that get rid of leech seed? Why, man? Why? It shouldn't. It did. Okay, that's uh, something. I mean, Winged Tank is slaughtering me, but. I might as well double team a little bit while I'm getting my health back. <laughs> what? Come on, man. Let's just try and cut. All right, I'm gonna run because at this point it's like I kind of want to get on. I want to get to Mewtwo, but I can do. I can focus on catching afterwards. And, uh, yeah, another little bit of surfing left. It's Mew 2 time. It's Mew 3 time. <laughs> yeah, it's funny enough, that person I'm on about, they're, they're one, of the, one of the people that I'm glad is out of my life. Given, uh, you know, because of how bad they are, because of how toxic, funnily enough, they end up being. <laughs> Like, it's, it's amazing, um, it's great, I'm out of their life though, so I'm glad about it. But let's not talk about such people, let's, uh, let's talk about good people, and by good people I mean me too, and by me too I mean not me too, because they were, they were caught on, in one Ultra Ball each time. And yeah, I'm going to try the Toxic Leech Seed strategy against them, or at least Toxic anyway, to... Actually, no, I should use Leech Seed first, just to start getting, you know. But it does make me wonder, actually, something I should probably check is... Uh, I wonder if Leech Seed still takes your toxic level, if you will. So, like, if, if you've done, like, um, if it's now doing 3 out of 16, um, and then you 
heal your Pokemon does does literally still do three out of sixteen every turn. You know, something like that. I should have a look at that actually. I just don't know, I just don't really know how to really test it out. Cause I don't I don't really know anyone. I guess I can try it on a ditto. Yeah, that's something I could look into. So yeah, I'll look into that when I can then I guess. Yeah, do a little bit of research. Oh yeah, they've got good special, yeah. Basically we shouldn't do that much then. Um right, I'm gonna start checking balls now because you know, I, I might as well at this point. And they hit they hit for a six double team. Special foul, okay, well I mean that doesn't doesn't really mean anything when you know I'm, when when I get critical hits anyway. And uh, now that I think about it, maybe I should go back to light. Well, not go back to light, but let them use uh, get some screen time and uh, Thunder Wave. Even though I said I wanted those double teams, I just realised. Oh well. Yeah, this is for good cause. Pity I couldn't get like a proper like. You know, burn on one file, freeze on another, paralyze on another, but oh well, what are you gonna do? It is what it is. So I wonder what the idea is then. So sometimes, yeah, it misses. Like, but then the other day, when I, when I was doing it, like when they got burnt and they took little damage just because of the burn and yet they still caught even though they only took them took one turn of burn damage this is gonna oh okay good to use recover wow what a great time to use recover <laughs> gives me more turns to catch them as well <laughs> So if anything, he's only doing me a favour. <laughs> yeah, Psychic's not going to do me a favour though. Tana Psych will, but you know, that's uh, not my EV, so... How do you even miss? Like, I mean, I get it, I get missing, but like, why? Why is that such a standard... Why is such such a thing? Hey! Hey, free for free! Nice! I was about to say, like, it didn't catch I was, on this turn. I was going to say something like, I was going to start talking about... Well, I was thinking of start talking about my hate again, but at the same time, I was thinking, like, maybe it's not worth it. Its DNA is almost the same as Mew's, however its size and disposition are vastly different. Yes. Well, let's get out of here. But yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know, it's great. That, that, you know, because it's like, it's so weird when you think about it. You know, it's, um, I don't know, I really don't know. What? I think that was three moves, man. That's technically four, because I had to turn as well. Oh well. But yeah, it's, uh, jeez, man. Sort of, sort of left space for me to and my team so I could max repel everything. <laughs> I guess that's another tip for you. Leave space for your mutants. You can back up by everything as we escape the cave, dittos, and gold bats and the likes. On the stairs? Come on. Oh, okay. I guess it's gold bats. I guess it's fine. In the sense that it's like. <laughs> like he's, he's, they're right there anyway, so it's like. You know. 
I was thinking like, imagine it was like a Pokemon that's like right there anyway. Wow, a little bit of <laughs> left. Uh, let's try double teaming and hopefully uh, dodging. Okay, well that's a pretty dodgeable move anyway. But yeah, this is great. I mean, to be fair, Confused Ray is pretty good though. But this is a good excuse to start running Ultra Balls then, so. <laughs> Oh, two, two, uh, uh, shakes. So there's at least a chance. Hey. So at least we got a goal back then. Oh, it sucks blood. That's a. Uh, that's in Pokemon Gen 1, by the way. Sucks blood. I need to know where I am. Okay, I find myself. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm just... It's just this is just the way out now. It's a good thing I got all the items because I can just show you the way out now, and uh, you know it's. Uh, I'd say it's easy to follow, but that depends on if you're okay with the, all the wild encounters here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna not worry about this over here. In fact, I can talk about four four H Y. Can I? I don't know if I can, to be honest. Uh, where am I? Floor 2, right? Yeah, floor... Here we go, okay. Um, so I need to go the short way here. I was about to say, oh yeah, poison just neutral to it, but... But that's if you're attacking with a move rather than... You know, using toxic. I don't have any poison moves on me, otherwise. Because I was thinking, like, maybe they're gonna have a poison move. Because there's a weird little, like, oversight as well with uh, Generation 1 where, like, uh, if you say, you know, a poison move on. a poison attack, I should say on a Gloom, for example, then it will say it's either super effective or not very effective. Uh, even though it should be neutral, which is neutral, it does do neutral damage, it just, you know, messes up, if you will. Uh, I'm pretty sure a Grass move on a Gyarados says it does uh, not very effective damage. Pretty sure it's that way round, so it's whatever the second type is. So in this case, Gyarados is a flying type secondary, secondarily, therefore, uh, I'm pretty sure Grass will say it doesn't do very effective damage to it, even though Grass is just neutral on a Gyarados, uh, because it's good against one type and bad against the other, therefore, you know, uh, you know, it does neutral to you, but it says wrongly. I suspect there's no Fentry Bell here, or uh, Fire Plume. But I guess at the same time, I guess when really, you like cheese in the evolution, which is a bit weird, considering that there was Raichu in red and blue, which obviously, obviously that in that case it's like yeah, it's fine, because like in that's in red and blue and yellow they didn't want you again. It's more so based on the anime, so you know it's uh they didn't want didn't want you. Uh, getting the right shoe really easily or anything. Like you had to trade for for one, or tr you know, try to get your PQ up to another file. But 
But, uh, you know. Which is a shame as well that. Because I know, like, in Yellow. Like, like I said, they did it a lot based on the anime, but some of the stuff isn't exactly. Some of the later stuff, at least, anyway, isn't exactly. Uh, accurate. Because I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, Cinnabar Jim isn't accurate. Giovanni, I think he's got Persian, so it's pretty, so that's accurate enough. Uh, well, that's kind of a bit more predictable, because it's Team Rocket. Uh, then you've got, uh, what else have you got? You've got the League, which is a bit weird. And I guess they couldn't have changed too much with the league, but at the same time, it is a little, you know, it's a shame they didn't do anything with that, you know, to make it at least a little bit more, you know, anime-like, if you will. And then, um, so it is a little bit of a shame, but it, I guess it is what it is. I guess if anything, you, we can all pretend, you know, do do something if you will, like, uh, like if you wanted to do, like, uh, like if you really wanted to do, like, you know, like a, a more authentic Cinnabar gym, you can do, uh, you know, uh, like just have a friend and do a link battle where the friend has like fire moves or something and you know or maybe uh, like you know and then maybe like for the league instead of the league do like a a contest if you, not a contest but a, a tournament kind of thing like you know you have like you know four people who were you know, who battle each other or something, or eight people, however many it is, or however many you decide you can do, or whatever. You know, you have four people, you, or whatever, you do your tournaments, and then whoever wins gets a good take on the league, and then, you know, therefore they go and beat the league, or whatever, you know, that kind of thing. You know, but, that's uh, probably the best that we can really get, to be fair. Uh, another thing I want to go over before I do call this an episode is that uh, this is something I want I thought about mentioning earlier and kind of forgot and now I've just now I've remembered during like the tail end of, of uh, getting away from Cerulean Cave is like I remember like ages ago and I'm talking like a good while ago like this is bef like even before the whole Blastoise freezing me too thing I told you about uh, I remember doing like, um, I remember playing through Yellow and Crystal, well, I'd play through Yellow and I'd go through Crystal. Um, I think I restarted it once or twice as well, but I remember playing through like Yellow and then Crystal and wh what I'd do is I'd like, I'd like keep a journal of things of how it would all go and I'd also have like stats and stuff, you know, like, um, like oh I caught this Pokemon uh, what level did I catch them at? What level are they now? You know, stuff like that. Um, I remember catching... I, I don't think... I'm not sure if I did this or not. Or, I mean, I'm not sure if I did this in this run or if I did it in a different one. I probably did it in another run. But I remember catching a Growlithe at one point. And because they learn Flamethrower at level 50, but Arcanine doesn't, um, and there's no other way to get Flamethrower on them as far as I'm aware, I would get the 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 Growlithe up to level fifty, and get them the flamethrower, and then firestone them, so then they evolve, and then that way I've got like a really good Arcanine. Yeah, so I remember doing that, but um, unfortunately none of that stuff has survived really over the years, and I've no longer got it, which is a bit of a shame because obviously I'd love to be able to go back and read it all and stuff. But I'm thinking maybe I could do something like that again, if you will, you know, just. I don't know if I'd record it, but I definitely want to do something about, like, you know, writing a journal of sorts, you know, playing through all these games and, you know, keeping all the stats and stuff. 
Uh, I remember having free uh, text documents open while I would play as well, because uh, I'd, I'd be doing it on emulator, and I would play. Uh, I, but I don't remember what the third text document was. You know, I know it was like I know one was for the journal, and I know another one was for the uh, catches and whatnot. But I don't remember what the third one was. But I, I'm sure there was three. So I don't know what. Um, you know, the third one was for, or if it even was for something like this or something, I'm not entirely sure, but m maybe I'll remember if I set it up again, you know, you know, like, sort of like think back, trace steps or whatever, but, you know, I'm not sure, but maybe I'll do something like that again, maybe I'll do something, you know, I don't think I'll record it, like I said, but I'd but I don't know, maybe I'll do something like that, I don't know. I definitely want to do something in regards to like an adventure like I did when I was young. You know, like, just have my my own little gaming adventure where I'd go through all these different games and it'd be like a story, if you will, in, in its own way, if you will. Like, oh, I go through the Kanto region and I take, take down Team Rocket and then uh, I go to Johto and click on Crystal, you know, with a whole new team, you know, kind of a little bit kind of like the anime, if you will, you know, where you go from one region to another, to another, to another, so on and so forth. Uh, I, I do know I was thinking of including other games as well, not just Pokemon. So like, Pikmin and, uh, what else, um, Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe to a degree if that works, you know, or Zelda, if possible, you know. Like obviously, like I'd change a few things for the story if you were to all fit, because obviously, like you know, in some cases it says like, oh, this game takes place three years later from that game, or you know, all these games aren't even connected, or you know, because Zelda isn't connected to Pokemon like that, or like, oh, uh, this, this is that, or whatever, you know, something like that. But you know, I guess that's. But you know, you know what I mean. You know, something like that. A nice, cool adventure like that. Uh, you know, because I know, I know when I was young, I I didn't manage to finish finish it very often. But I did learn some tips and tricks and such when I was young. So I, so at least that survived the whole. You know, at least I learned something during that time. You know, from all the way back when. Well. Uh, anyway, that's going to be it for today, so, uh, uh, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a minky day.